Hey everybody, this is Brian from PMB Homesteading. I wanted to give you an update for the large grow tent and uh, in its ever changing form, we've made some more changes after realizing I didn't like the way I had set it up with the uh, hanging grow bags. So let me grab the camera and I'll take you over. Okay, so one of the changes, you notice the poinsettia has its own spot in the tent again. After going upstairs for Christmas, it's going to be sitting over here in the corner. I took out the vertical grow bags and the light I had hanging here and put the poinsettia back in the corner because uh, the germination from what I was seeing on that hanging grow bag was not what I expected it to do. So I just went ahead and just took it out and I'm going to use that for outside use in the spring for Paula's uh, you know, fresh cut flowers. So the poinsettia is down there and then what I've done over here underneath the tent is since I had space under here, I took the two new grow lights, put them underneath the tray up above here, and I have it on an alternate timer, so I'm actually using these lights along with that auxiliary heater to keep the tent warm, and instead of just having a heater to keep it warm, I'm actually using the, uh, the heat coming off of these lights underneath this you know, upper tray to heat down below, and it's gonna, heat's gonna rise. So that'll help alleviate some of the, the cold pressure we have inside underneath our storage area. And then I can also use it to grow greens. And so what I've got down here, I have some more, I, I basically saved the cilantro that were starting to germinate and I added some new seed into these that were kind of sparse. So there'll be cilantro coming up in those. Those are the two little pepper plants that I, uh, I had for pop-ups in the tomato bags. So I saved those, put those in here. And then in these two flats, I have a uh, Asian green, it's called Mizuna. So it's Mizuna Asian Green, and it's supposed to be very good for uh, salads and for stir fries. So I'm going to gross two trays of that and see how that turns out. That was one of my new seeds that I had picked up um, a couple of months ago that I hadn't had a chance to try out because I didn't have any flats available. So, and then, I, of course, I have a, a, a tray underneath here, just like I have in the mid-sized tent. So that way I can water directly in the center here, and all the moisture can wick up through the bases of the roots up into the plants to fill their uh, moisture needs. So that's kind of the lower uh, setup we've got now. And then up above, we've got you know the, the beta salad mix. It's about ready to get another harvest on it. We've got the Vates kale. And you can see the kale is really taking off. Let me go ahead and turn the lights on up above here. I'll show you guys. There you go, the lights are on. I'll try and stay out of there because I don't want to have the, the reflective light in my eyes. But uh, that's the Vates kale. You can see that it's got the true leaves. They are really coming in. So we're going to be able to harvest this probably in another couple, you know, maybe a week or two. So we've got some pretty good sized leaves in here. And that's looking really nice and healthy. And we've got our basil back there. That's the, the Thai basil. You can see it's actually starting to flower being inside of here with the deeper roots. And it looks really healthy. So we'll be taking some more of that this week and doing some sauteing. And then we've got our parsley and our garlic chives. Everything that we've taken out of those uh, smaller two gallon pots and put into these things is starting to really thrive. I mean, you can even see back there on the, uh, the Mexican herb, papalo, it's actually got the seed heads starting to form up there. So I'm gonna see if I can actually harvest those seeds because they were pretty expensive for the little box that I got. So if I can uh, harvest my own seeds and save those, I can actually regrow these plants. And that's one of the one of the key things to becoming profitable with uh, doing these greens. So if I can save some of the seeds heads off those Thai basil and off of the, uh, the palo, that'll be a nice little addition for the next round of uh, vegetative growth and seed starting. So then we got the beta mix and we got the cilantro. Cilantro is really picked up in here. It's looking really healthy. And then uh, we got the beta salad mix back there. And then over here we've got the, uh, the white Russian kale. It's got its true leaves out. It's looking really nice. And of course, we also have the uh, the red Russian kale here. It's really starting to fill in, and uh, true leaves are starting to pop out. Looks like the Vates kale is a little bit ahead of the uh, the Russian and the white Russian kale. But overall, I'm pretty pleased because this is going to be a big, huge boost to our uh, nutrient dense foods that we're going to be eating for our salads. Okay, so that's kind of the update for the tent. Everything seems to be going well. I'm very happy about having this tent set up this way. You know, the tomatoes were a great, uh, I guess you'd say, hobby 
indoor grow plant, but these are actually productive to where they can put a dent in your food budget by having just this amount available because we're not buying lettuce. I mean, we have enough lettuce to where we're not buying it at the store now. And especially once we get this kale, we're gonna have, you know, the fresh kale salads, we're gonna have it in sautés, we're gonna be putting that in Paulo's homemade soups this winter. So we're gonna have all kinds of nutrient-dense food growing right underneath our house. Okay, let me spin the camera back around here for you guys. All right, well, this has been Brian from P&B Homesteading. Hope you guys are having a great day. All right, talk to you again next weekend. All right, bye.